Hey guys, it's DeweyFin21, and I am here to talk about the Nostalgia Critics Review of Turbo, a Power Rangers movie. This is in no way defending the film, it's defending the series that it was about, not Turbo, but the entire Power Rangers series as a whole. I made a list of complaints, I made a list of complaints, okay? First off, really another Mighty Morphin parody, even though you're not talking about Mighty Morphin. Everyone always parodies Mighty Morphin because it's the one that came out first, so it's the one everybody remembers. But then again, that may just be my fanboyism coming through, but who cares? This is a video about my fanboy rants. Because as a, I'm a Power Rangers fanboy first, then a Tig with Tig fanboy. Although really the order goes Big Time Rush, Power Rangers, uh, Team Star Kid, Dr. Horrible, uh, Thor, and uh, then Tig with Tig. So if you mess with anything above there, I will break you. Of course! Okay, I didn't say I would take over the world. I was frozen today! Or that. <laughs> so. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle! Quit using clips. Anyways, my second fanboy complaint is really minor and probably for copyright reasons but I just can't stand how he changes the pitch during the song because that's not the way the pitch changes during the Mighty Morphin theme song since you were doing a parody of the Mighty Morphin theme song which is basically what every season has done since Saban got the series back <sighs> third Doug I know you don't know much about the series so don't try to make claims that you can't back up. Rita is nowhere near the most embarrassing villain Power Rangers is that. Divatox, the villain in the movie, is more embarrassing and pathetic than she is. And there's a few more from other series, but I know you wouldn't know who they are if I mentioned them. And the Damn boys will say something if this ever gets noticed by you, which I doubt it will. Oh, fourth, the fight was for charity, which you showed at the end. You never didn't sort of mention it. I guess the tournament thing would count, but that's why they were practicing fighting and hitting stuff, because the fight was for charity so they could help with the shelter. Fifth. You can't even defend this one. You call you said that the mighty Morphin powers weren't waterproof when sh Cat you showed the clip where Cat distinctively said Zeo Ranger 1 pink. She said that in the clip. You showed that and you still called it the mighty Morphin powers. It's the Zeo powers that they got after the Mighty Morphin powers were destroyed. Sixth. Bulk and Skull were no longer bullies during the time this movie came out. I know you knew them mostly from season one where they, uh, that was basically the characterization. But by Turbo, they were police officers in training for the movie they were, even though they were supposed to go in Paris at the end of Zeo. So, yeah. Seven. The reason Justin is the Blue Ranger. Not a good reason, but it's a reason. He knows who the Rangers are. And you may say, but Bulk and Skull figured out who they were in When is a Ranger Not a Ranger? But they had their memories wiped at the end of that episode in the greatest scene of that season. Eight. 
This isn't really a complaint. I'm just wondering whether or not you actually know about Overdrive where Rita and Zed had a kid. Because Rebecca men Rebecca as Rita mentioned something about them doing it and stuff and yeah. Nine. This is the main reason why I'm doing this video, because I have no idea what you meant when you said that Rocky's actor would, would fire his agent or something like that. Rocky's actor broke his back filming the finale for Zio. That's why he's only in the movie for a part of the time, and he's not the Blue Ranger anymore. That's why Justin became the Blue Ranger. Because Steve Cardenas probably would have been a ranger until the switch-off point on Turbo because they replaced everybody even though it was only Johnny and... I think her name was Kat? I think it was Catherine. I think she, her name was Kat and she's playing Kat. Anyways, um... can't believe I forgot the name. Okay. So yeah, okay, number 10, I know Linkara doesn't like Turbo, but for completion's sake, he needs a Turbo costume and an alien costume and a Zeo costume since technically his Zeo transformation was just a different, was a white outfit of his. Plus I just really plus I just want him to do completion sake because I want to see him in the space costume because I like the space rangers the best. And my final thing, number 11, because I like to go one step beyond. The final thing I'm going to say about this review is thank you, Doug. You can enjoy your stupid stuff and I'll enjoy mine. This has been DeweyFin21 with a fanboy rant. I'll see you later, internets.